Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea. I hope you're well. And I'm here to do your last half of July 2023 tarot reading. It won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So without further ado, I wish you a wonderful last half of July and let's get straight into the readings. Hello Pisces, let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Angel, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Rest of July 2023. Message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you. message for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces, please? We have the King of Swords, can be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. King of Swords, uh, we can all manifest as court cards in general readings as well. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The moon, which is actually the card of Pisces in the Major Arcana, but it is moon energy. The death card. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, male or female, or the energy of the card. The Eight of Cups. High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, so the King of Swords can be somebody, it can be somebody in authority as well. It can be about doing the right thing. Seeing the truth of the situation, the crystal clear truth, and doing the right thing in truth, the right, honourable, ethical thing. So it feels like some kind of choice is needing to be made here, Pisces. Now with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, if this was to do with money, career, finances, this is somebody potentially in business. And again, Queen of Pentacles can be the energy of the card or it can be somebody, again, these could be people in business scenario or a person in business, one of these could be you as well. But it might well be in this scenario here, Pisces, that there is some kind of offer being extended to you Again, the Knight of Pentacles can be some kind of job offer, business opportunity, monetary offer in some way, money, career, finances, and you're studying it. it. Might well be you're studying it, or this person is also influential in offering it to you. Queen of Pentacles can be very good in terms of business and career. Uh, somebody who's generally quite kind, um, very, sl uh, a little bit more kind of considered in making decisions. I wouldn't say slower, but they're more methodical, more detail orientated. Again, male or female with this Queen of Pentacles, this person can be offering you something in terms of money career. But it, it feels here, Pisces, the Moon and the Eight of Cups, there's a fear of you walking away. And the High Priestess with the Death card someone intuitively knowing that an ending is going to happen if there isn't some kind of compromise reached. So this is what I'm seeing here. Um, in money career finances, it might well be this offer is given to you because they're worried that if you don't get some kind of monetary offer, for example, this could be a bonus, um, job offer, pay rise, promotion, um, some of my, I mean, whatever the scenario would be, 
that you're going to walk away and go somewhere else. So that's what I'm seeing for you. So this is about doing the right thing. Uh, it could well be your company saying, OK, we need to compromise. We need to meet Pisces halfway. We need to come to some kind of agree way forward so Pisces doesn't walk away and end this, you know, uh, doesn't leave us. You know, this would be the scenario here. And it's a similar thing in terms of love, romance, relationships. Again, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, it might well be some kind of offer of commitment or um, a solid offer is being presented to you because there's a fear of you walking away otherwise. And again, the King of Swords is somebody who sees the truth of the situation and will do the right thing. This can also be very good in terms of... Um, An, an, an energy of, of growth, an energy where you feel like you're actually going somewhere, where you can feel like you can put down roots. So again, that sense of greater commitment might be offered to you somewhere in a relationship here, Pisces, because they're worried that you're walking away, intuitively, again, sensing that there could be an ending here if some kind of, if the right thing wasn't done. So this person is seeing the truth. Again, the Three of Pentacles can be let's come to some kind of, let's collaborate, let's come to some kind of uh, agreed way forward that everybody's happy with. Let's all get on the same page in terms of how we make this work. And sometimes this comes when one party hasn't been willing to compromise before. Um, they haven't wanted to come to the table, you know. That can be in terms of love romance, that can be in terms of uh, family, could be in terms of relationships but this is okay how do we make this work how do we get everybody on the same page where everyone's happy so you don't walk away that would be the energy there's a lot of intuitive energy going on someone's really worried that there's going to be an ending really worried that you're going to walk away or go somewhere else so to to stop that happening this is the energy doing the right thing All right. And again, that would be advice for you, depending on which side of the fence that you were on. Okay, what do we have for Pisces? We have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Yeah, I feel that this is this this makes you feel more motivated. Maybe coming into again this reading, you were thinking, "Am I gonna? Are they gonna? You know, meet me halfway? Do I walk away?" This is the scenario here where it looks like uh, certainly a party is offering you something of value, uh, and there is some kind of negotiation, compromise, agreement reached, so you don't walk away. And you feel motivated by that, I feel, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing here, because they're doing the right thing. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful July. I will see you next time.